Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA channel on YouTube and your favourite FIFA series on YouTube is back. It's Be A Goalkeeper Episode 1. That is right, the first episode of Be A Goalkeeper in FIFA 23. This is where it begins and I am so excited and a little bit nervous because we're going to do things a little bit different this year. So if you are as excited as I am for this series, make sure you leave a like on this video. Let's get it to 100 likes. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Turn your notifications on and let's get into this. But first, let's talk about the character, the player. Obviously, it's me. This time, I've got grey hair for some reason. I'm younger, but I'm greyer. So we are six foot one, 200 pounds. It's not the perfect weight or height for a goalkeeper. Obviously, the taller you make him, he's better at some stuff. The smaller you make him, he's better at other stuff. And the weight does exactly the same thing. The heavier you make him, he's better at some stuff. The lighter you make him, he's better at some stuff. I just base it all on about my height and weight. And obviously, the trousers stay on at all times. Now we're going to be moving on to the team that I will be playing for at the start of this career. I was thinking about starting with Exeter City once again, but they're actually in League 1. So I had to look around League 2 and I've picked Sutton United. These are the difficult settings I'll be playing on. Ultimate, which probably is going to be a mistake, five and a half. Obviously, we're in sterling pounds. And yeah, also, one more thing is we are playing on full manual settings, which actually doesn't really mean a lot. But there you go, full manual. I also did turn off all the indicators, so I have no notification of where I'm supposed to be stood. The left bumper still does work and drag you into position, but I'm going to try not to use it at all. To be fair, there's actually a bug with the left bumper which makes you charge out and not actually into the right position. So it's best probably to stay away from using it even if you are using the indicators. So we had to do a little bit of admin stuff. We had to greet our teammates, make sure they all knew who I am. I don't have a clue about any of them. And now we move on to the training sessions, which I'm very disappointed once again. Goalkeepers only have three training sessions which actually focus on goalkeeping and they're exactly the same as they always have been. And it's pretty disappointing to be fair. It's kind of annoying because they don't really mean anything once you've done them once you don't ever have to do them again so i am feeling a little hard done by to be fair goalkeepers seem to get missed out on every update and every new release we do have finger physics now though so i suppose that's something but we're going to do what we do save a load of shots concede a load of goals and here we go my first game for Sutton united and you can see we have play team highlights which i did try out and i think it's a load of rubbish so i'm never going to be doing that again but here we are, look at this, number 20 coming on for Ward, look at that ugly goalkeeper kit, the purple is a bit atrocious, and our first shot, do we save it? No. It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. That is literally the first shot, I've been on the pitch for about 30 seconds and I've conceded a goal already. If this is the way forward, it's going to be a rough one, but we have to learn, and tough love is the way forward. I don't know how I haven't saved this to be fair. He finds the side netting beautifully. Just a bit disappointing overall to be honest. So we are 2-0 down but we take a long range effort. Hits the crossbar. Our striker gets the rebound. He heads it in. Halving the deficit now 2-1. And look at that strike from my midfielder. It's going to take me so long to learn everyone's name. So give me a chance. I will learn them eventually. But once again I don't have a clue who this is. I can't see his name. But the strike from my midfielder is beautiful. The dip just under the crossbar. Bounces it onto the floor. Bounces up nicely for a strike and he just rises higher. He wanted this more than everyone else on this pitch. Look at that, just jump so early. Pushes the defender down, wins the header. Getting us one step closer to getting something out of this game. But to be fair, it's pre-season. It doesn't really mean too much. But who wants to lose? No one wants to lose. So we're on the attack again. The 17th minute little cross and the volley just past the post. It was a decent effort but now Cheltenham Town on the attack. And it's my first save and look at that for a save. I made a little bit of a meal of it. Did fall backwards but look at that. The finger physics in action there, push it down and gather it up beautifully. Now we're on the attack again, a through ball, he finds the back of net somehow, I have no idea how the keeper has not saved it at the near post. He wellies it straight past him, the keeper's had a little bit of a mare by the looks of it. The through ball was timed to perfection, no one near him, he hits it first time, straight at the keeper to be fair, it comes off his shoulder or his shin. I have no idea, maybe his gloves, something, it came off something, deflected into the goal, and that is full time, 2-2. Moving on to the next preseason game against Ross County, and this time I'm actually starting the game, which is pretty shocking to be fair. The training has gone very well, the manager is believing in me, but Ross County get the first shot and it goes in. I have no idea how I have not moved, I did actually dive the wrong way to be fair, but I just stand there, let it in, Samuel with the goal. It does go through the defender's legs, he jumps over the ball, but I have been struggling to get out of my FIFA 22 mindset. Near post was overpowered and I just covered the near post too much, tried diving that way as well, 
and I just missed it. So I made myself look a little bit of a fool. But now I make up for it a little bit from the cross. It's just easy for me to gather up. 30 minutes on the clock. We're attacking on the right side. Little pass into the box. They pass it across once more. And he hits it into a top corner somehow. On the turn. What has gone on there? That's a beautiful goal. He has no right to be scoring from that angle. And find that top corner. Top bins all day long. The passing was okay. The ball was held up pretty well. It takes a touch. And how has he done that? Keeper's jumped into the post. Which I've just noticed as well. That is going to be a sore one for the keeper. But look at that for a strike. Defender tried blocking. But no one near it. No one's near it. Game is all level. We're attacking down the right side again. We have found a weakness. A little chipped cross. And it hits it on the spinning volley. But it's straight at the keeper. No problem from him. And half time is here. 1-1. One, one. We've done a little bit better in the second half of the first half, so hopefully the second half in general will be a lot better, if that makes sense. But Ross County get the first opportunity and they find the back of the net again. What has gone on here? How have I not saved it? I told you goalkeeping is a trial by fire. It is brutal. It's another mistake. I've played two games with how many mistakes already? Just hits it straight at me and look, it's so poor to be fair. I don't have a clue how I have not saved it. Looking at it, I do get a fingertip to it, but push it into my own goal. Just disappointing all over. This is a better angle. Hits it quite hard, but once again, I've got floppy fingers. Floppy fingers don't save the day. They just cause pain, but Ross County on the attack again. Look at the space he has in the box, and I make a save. Oh my god, I did it. I made another save. I have no right to be saving that. The striker has messed up big time. Defenders let me down, but our strikers do as well. He hits the post for a decent strike, but didn't have the accuracy. Now Ross County wants more, and he gets his hat trick. Oh. I might need to retire after this. This is Sparta! It's Samuel once more. He gets his hat trick, making it 3 1, and I'm just disappointed. This time I went left and he went to the near post. I cannot win. It's so hard to tell where they're shooting from. I should probably use a defender as a guidance, but I didn't this time. I did first time, and then I get subbed off. Nine shots against, one save. It's a good save to be fair to me. But we do lose 5-2. Ward has come on with 10 minutes maximum and conceded two goals. So I don't feel too bad about myself. I made a decent save to be fair to me. But after that performance, I'm only good enough for the bench, which is understandable. Coming on in the 61st minute against FC Andorra. And if you go back to the first game, I actually get subbed on for outfield player and this time again once again outfield player i don't know what's going on there apparently we have two goalkeepers on but once again i concede after five minutes of being on the pitch my first shot against me and i let it in i don't know what to say anymore i'm really bad at this game apparently i will get better i know it but it's a bit of a struggle to begin with but it's a good thing i will see progression eventually but i probably should be saving this to be fair it's an okay strike pretty close to me cannot get my hands out quick enough making this game 1-0 altogether and again Andorra on the attack he hits it at the near post and look how quick I have to gather that one up I dish it out nice and quickly as well we went up the right side again this is our favorite place if a little through ball as well he hits it low past the keeper tying the game up 1-1 14 minutes left in this game and that through ball and run could be the best one you will ever see the timing was to perfection the weight of the ball was perfect as well Right side of play is beautiful from us. The pass, look at that, it's so good. He drills it past the keeper, nice enough. Just clips the post to go into the back of the net. And I should get the assist, because I started that technically from me, making the save, dish it out quickly. We run up the right side, get the goal. I'm taking the assist. Another shot, look at that for a save as well from Andorra. I'm proud of this one. It's a decent strike, once more it's at me, but for some reason, look at the animation. I go to use my left hand, end up using my right, which is a strong hand anyway. Looks a bit dodgy. Just been practicing my martial arts, wanted to show off all the things I've learned during the summer, you know? <laughs> Once again, the right side of our team is bossing it into the box once my little pass all the time and he hits it with the keeper, makes a fantastic save. And that is where this game ends, 1-1. I decide to read a book from a club legend. Yes, I can read. I know it's all surprising. And now this is the big moment. Do I make the team sheet for the first game of the season? Yes, I do. There I am. Oh, my leg. And I seem to have lost my legs for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. This game is so buggy already. Even in the cutscenes, it's ridiculous. But the first game of the League 2 season, Sutton United versus Hartlepool, and we are at home. Can we start this season off right? And we do in the 10 minutes get the first opportunity. Long range effort, but the keeper makes a fantastic save. Four minutes later, we have another chance outside the box. He chips the goalkeeper somehow on the edge of the box. 15 minutes in. How has that gone in? Omar... Bugel, I think? That's a cracking strike. I have no idea how he has chipped the keeper from that far out. The pass in is a little one-twosies. He hits it first time. 
and the keeper just not even that far off his line gets it lobbed somehow maybe he's a short keeper look at the spin on that ball as well one nil up this game started beautifully and again 40th minute we're on the attack once we're in the box hits it again straight at the goalkeeper one-handed save strong as an ox his hands he doesn't have floppy fingers like myself but we're going to half time one nil up Hartlepool with the first chance of the whole game, running into the box, hits it at the near post, bounces off the post, saved by the post I am, but now we're on the attack, a little through ball, leaves the defenders in his dust, hits it across the goalkeeper and he finds that side netting, making it 2-0. The lead is doubled and Hartlepool do not want anything to do with us, they have not come to play today, they've only had one shot and it wasn't even on target, but look at that through ball once more, the timing of these runs are so good and the keeper had no chance, he hits it so hard, straight across him, he doesn't even reach out he reaches low that side netting is found it nestles the ball into it we're just making chance after chance we get another one and what is that for a strike hits the first time but it's very poor and again another one hits the first time just dribbles into the goalkeeper's hands and again this time he does find the back of the net though those three clips are literally a carbon copy of each other and finally on the third time of trying he finds the back of the net it's a good finish to be fair to him the ball once again is weighted perfectly the run is perfect he hits it straight past the keeper, no chance once more, he's on the penalty spot nearly, just wellies it straight past him, making it 3-0, Hartlepool have done nothing this whole game, and again we are on the attack, the through ball once more, and this time the keeper does fantastic, charges out at his feet, gets the ball, and then I get subbed off, why, I have done nothing wrong, it's a joke to be fair, two shots against, no save, they weren't even on target, didn't have to do anything that whole game, I get punished, we do win 3-0 though, and it's the perfect way to start our season. Now one thing I want to go over quickly is the attribute system and goalkeeping is just broken. I'm like a 76 rated already. I've played four games. It's a bit of a joke. They really need to focus on goalkeeping. Goalkeeping is so fun. We just get punished for bad gameplay, bad attribute system. It's just not made for goalkeepers this game. I'm still going to keep playing it. I'm still going to upload videos and I hope you will enjoy it. But that is it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on. And as always, look after yourself. Stay safe and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.